Earth, spinning in space. The blue-toned planet could also be called ocean. 70% covered by water, the ocean is essential to life on Earth. Yet, we still know very little about the world underwater. Each year, the Pew Fellows Program in Marine Conservation identifies outstanding individuals distinguished by their vision, expertise, and passion for discovering new ideas about ocean conservation. Please join us in welcoming the 2011 Pew Marine Fellows. Their fellowship award supports a three-year scientific or conservation project designed to find innovative solutions to critical challenges in the ocean. Marine protected areas, like parks or reserves on land, are designed to support healthy ocean life. But species that travel far and live long, such as whales, dolphins, sea turtles, and sharks, present particular challenges to the design and creation of marine protected areas. Using genetic technology, Scott Baker of Oregon State University will conduct a large-scale study of how dolphins are connected throughout the different islands of Oceania. Through this description of seascape genetics, his research will provide a scientific basis for the design of marine protected areas that can help safeguard dolphins and other long-lived, highly mobile ocean wildlife. A harsh regional climate and remote location have preserved Chilean fjords from major human impacts until recently. Now, rapid economic development, and in particular salmon farming, jeopardizes this extraordinary but little studied marine environment. Marina Hauserman of the UNI Scientific Field Station in Comal Fjord will conduct research on the biodiversity of the Chilean fjords and provide crucial information for conservation planning. Forage fish are small schooling fish that serve as food for other fish, seabirds, and marine mammals. These fish, which account for approximately one-third of fish caught globally, are used largely as ingredients for animal feed. Tim Essington of the University of Washington in the United States will assess the value of forage fish and squids as a foundation of marine food chains compared to their value as fisheries commodities. His work will advance understanding of the trade-offs between leaving forage fish in the water or catching them for human use. Many stories of community stewardship and cooperation to preserve marine ecosystems for future generations are not well known. Building on her work with rural coastal communities in Mexico, Andrea Sanz Aroro of the Community and Biodiversity Center in Mexico we we'll use her Pew Fellowship to document and communicate outstanding success stories of community stewardship worldwide. She will try to determine the common factors that encourage coastal societies to take responsibility for the oceans. She will publish a popular science book about her findings and engage decision makers and international organizations in promoting the expansion of these success stories to restore and preserve our common marine heritage. The ocean is one of our next frontiers. We're still discovering new species, uncharted depths, and new ideas to keep the ocean and the earth healthy and productive. The Pew Fellows Program in Marine Conservation looks forward to the new discoveries of the 2011 Pew Marine Fellows.